if you live in the state of Texas, then you know this past Wednesday, the biggest news story was this biannual Texas Muslim Capital Day. And it's where about mm, a few hundred Muslims go down to the state capital and learn about politics and how the government was run. Now, what made this day so big is because of everything that went on the past weekend with Donald Trump banning Muslims and, you know, trying to deport them out of the country. And so about a thousand, a little over a thousand people felt they should go down here to Austin to support the Muslims and create this big human train trying to protect them from potential protesters because, you know, of the, the climate or the temperature of the country right now. And they say maybe, I think it was only one protester with a Jesus Christ is Lord sign actually showed up to this event. And also, you about a couple of weeks ago, you had a representative, Kyle Biederman, who sent out a poll to these Muslim leaders asking them to reject institutionalized Sharia pledge to protect those who have left Islam and declare the Muslim Brotherhood a terrorist organization. So a lot of Muslims and Islamics you know, very, got very offended by that. And rightfully so, because you're trying to group them all together into a category of, you know, of extreme terrorists. But back to my point, like I say, this event has been going on since 2013. And personally, I think, you know, it's real cool for these guys to get together to go down and learn about politics and how it's ran. So my question is, when is the Black Southern Baptist Capital Day? Now, it's been years since I've been a part of a church establishment or any kind of religious establishment or what have you. But I know plenty of people who are in churches, you know, members of churches on the boards of churches. And not once have I heard any of them say, hey, we're going to get together, go down to Austin, and learn about politics, sit on this 85th session, and see what these politicians are doing about issues in the black community. Now, when I came up with this page, I promised myself that instead of just complaining, it's going to always try to come up with a solution to any problems that we may have. So I did a little research and found out that the Texas Legislative Black Caucus is hosting a African American Legislative Summit on February 26th through Tuesday, February of 28th of this year. And it states on this, it's an Eventbrite, uh, it's on the Eventbrite website and I'll Definitely post a link to this in the description page. But it says you can meet members of the Texas Legislative Black Caucus, get engaged in the legislative process during the Texas Legislature's 85th session, and join thousands of leaders across the state of the United States. Now, you can register and, and attend this for free, but you have to find the, get your own transportation and, and housing or whatever. But I think something like this is where you start so you can learn the process uh see what the people that you voted for and put in the office see what they're fighting for what are they doing to improve the issues in the black community i think you should go to events like this i definitely believe you should go to local city council meetings in your own uh city find out what those politicians are doing Find out what the money is doing. Because you'll see by the time you see these big high rise loss and these new roads being built right slap dab in the middle of the hood, you know that the process of gentrification has started years before you even see them cut 
the ribbon. So changes aren't just made at the polls on election day. When you get involved in stuff like this, you can start making changes throughout the year. But however you decide to get involved, get involved. If you can't attend a meeting, I believe most major cities have ways that you can watch like city council meetings. I believe that stream them live on public access channels. They even stream them on the internet. But if you can get down there to a meeting, it'd be good to get down there to a meeting. That way you can participate and, you know, give your support or, or go against whatever's going on down there. But the key to it, like I say, is to get involved, make sure that these politicians are doing what they promised you they would do when you voted them in. But black people, let's get involved. This is the start of the process. It's, it starts locally and then it spreads out the state and then to national level. But you got to start at home first to make a change. Because you have these people coming from out of the country, these other nationalities, and coming here and learning the laws and how the laws can work for them. I mean, I read a story not too long ago about this guy from Mexico. He moved here and learned how to buy houses on a block, you know, and uh, re redo them and fix them up and selling them. And this guy done made millions off of it. And he's not even a a legal U.S. citizen from this country, but he learned how to use the laws to do what he need to do to uh, make his business grow. Now, some of the things he did may not have been above grade all the way around, but like I said, he learned how to use the laws for his benefit, and that's what we have to do. We have to start doing things, learning these business laws and learning where the money goes when it comes to this this real estate stuff and these businesses and or whatever or what have you, you know. So get informed and get to work. Hey, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. If you like my page, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, click in the description box, find ways that you can help promote this channel and projects that I have coming in the community. Until next time, peace.